Hey guys, I just want to say happy holidays. Hope y'all are having a great week. And if you're not, hopefully this video will uh, help you because I got an absolute banger of a video for you guys. So yeah, my treat. Enjoy today's video. Yeah, there you go. 94 Slayer. Oh, we, we've almost reached it, you know, the 95. Almost reached it, boys. So at this rate, it's going to take me like around four days we still have one more level though to get some medium clues done without having to go out of my way so i think it is time for me to try some serious speed running in the twisted league now because i feel like my gear and also my experience in the twisted league raids is good enough now that i can actually go for one of the faster solo raids league task so the one that I've already been is the sub 30 minute one, but the next one is sub 26. So that's quite a step up. That's four minutes faster. I have a personal best right now of 20 minutes casually done, but yeah, trying to go under 26 is going to be pretty challenging, but let's do it. Let's try. Oh, I'm excited. I am excited for this. All right, we have found a raid. My boy gets a girl has found us potentially a god tier raid we're fast into tecton into agility into fispila into crabs decent crabs here good crabs and this time i i remember to bring my rune pouch and also i'm gonna bring dins too as well some new toys if this works out i'll explain some of my my ideas but uh, unfortunately we didn't make it just bad rng on uh, Fossa, Tecton, and Fistbeelin. Ooh, hey, you know what? The speedrun attempt failed, but the rewards were really good though, so. Now I'm back up to 10,000 uh, rune arrows, and I will be putting some of my XP now into agility. Nice. Oh my god. Wow. My first double rope raid that I found. That's nice, man. I can't say no to that, man. Definitely a shit of cloth fossa. I don't know why I was so uh, dead set on trying to claw the boss. But yeah, man. Clawing the crystal is better. Because then I can probably uh, three crystal skip and stuff too. Before the teleport. So I found a really good way to do melee ice demon without using... Uh, as much prayer versus using something like an MSB. So based on the kill times, I actually feel like the whip is slightly faster if not around the same. The biggest advantage is that I get to conserve my prayer more since when I use my MSB, I use rigor which drains prayer like crazy. I got this method quite down here. Now I can save some prayer. Yeah, got him. All right, look at the points, boys. 21k before on. No scaling either. Actually, yeah, this one wasn't even, like, super fast, but... Oof, look at those points, though. 39k points, man. Almost 1,000 points a minute, dude. Wow. I got a really uh, interesting scout with meter dial. And uh, I think it's time to make some Bruce the speed run because uh, i don't think it'll be possible without it so it took forever to stock up on a, just a little bit of burst nest only gonna use it for speed runs you know so what the f oh what no ah oh, i could have had it Another scout, guardians, midal, tightrope, tecton. This one's gonna be so awkward because uh, it's a layout that I usually wouldn't try, but I think, you know, we have a shot. Oh my god. I can't believe this shit. That is so unlucky, bro. 2606 again. Oh, and I got a purple though. I got a purple this time. But hey, the purple though. So that's nice. Wow. Alright, here we go. Oh, arcane! Arcane! Arcane, boys! Let's go, man. Arcane. That's a new unique, bro. Let's go. 
We didn't break the 26, but at least I got the arcane though. That's nice. Yes. Cool, man. New prayer. Uh, I hope, you know, all unlocking augury can help us for sure. Yeah, man. Unfortunately, this one was so slow. It was like 16 minutes. Yeah, it was 1604. All right, let's take this guy out and uh, unlock the augury, boys. This is going to be hopefully really, really, really good. Yes, there it is. All the uh, prayers unlocked, minus piety, because you can't unlock that, but yes. Let's go, man. More accuracy, 25% magic accuracy, I believe, over 15%. So 10% more than Misty might. Oh, I found it. I found it, dude. I found it's, uh, the, the world record layout. <laughs> Let's go, man. This could be good. This could be good. Fuck, dude, that's so unlucky, guys. Every time, dude. It's always 26, low 26. Okay, come on, please. Please. Please, this hopefully will be the one. Okay. Damn it, dude. I'm gonna go in with, like, no food, though, so... I should have brought more food. Should have brought more food. All right, we're gonna go down at 9:30, so that's really good, really, really good. Two and a half minutes, bro. If we don't get this, I'm gonna laugh my ass off. But if we don't get this, suck it on. Holy shit! Come on, baby. We're so close. We did it. That was freaking hard, dude. On a layout that is not really supposed to be a PB run, but 25-12. Woof. That is 500 points obtained. Check out my points, boys. I need to check my ranking in a second here. But we did it. 25-12. I honestly don't think I can beat this time unless I get better stuff. So, for example... Unless I get a lance, you know, Tome of Fire, some more Rage Drops, you know, et cetera, et cetera. So yeah, we smashed the 26 minutes though, by a lot. Uh, I'm no more speed running until we get lands pretty much. So I'm very happy with this, 12, 25, 12. Dance time, let's go. Yeah. Get your dance game on, Sandshark. Which, what's up with you, brother? Get your dance game on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh shit, I must have gotten to 25 million in the middle of the raid. But yeah, we, we gained some points from that as well. Uh, I think it's 250. And we'll be getting some more points off of magic, attack, and uh, defense. So that's going to be some good points coming up. I'm going to use Augury now. It's our new best tanking prayer. Not much needs to be said other than the 25 magic defense and 25% regular de defense as well. Oh, uh, yeah. I love this. I can't do this with a blowpipe because fucking blowpipe's attack range is so shit. So I hosted an event in Twisted League uh, today where I pretty much invited anybody that had over 100 race KC uh, experience and also had stats and gear to actually do some raids. So yeah, we're doing some masses. Hopefully you get some drops or see some drops. Oh, fuck. I don't know if it can... <coughs> Right, I got a Warhammer though. Hopefully this lands. Yes, I got him. Good luck, boys. <laughs> Yo, Dragon Claws, man. First item, dude, of uh, of these group raids. Damn, bro. Grats on, uh, you know, Dragon Claws, man. Holy shit. That's a nice item. That's a nice item. Holy shit, there were five skeletons. Yo, that's my 100. Ooh. Oh man, the stack. <laughs> Yo, these guys are so bored. They freaking type low with the plants. Dude, it's great. Yo, check out my strats, boys. That way, I can't get cucked by the crystal in the middle of this group raid. <laughs> yes, here we go, boys. <laughs> this guy's so lucky, bro. He got two drops. What? Question mark, bro. Question mark. How's this guy getting all the drops? I'm so glad all these items I don't I already have, so it's not bad. 
So when I was grinding for the 90 crafting, I also made some diamond necklaces. Um, these guys are actually really interesting because I can enchant them into phoenix necklaces. They are kind of like redemptions, except it triggers easier. If my HP hits below 20%, I heal about 30% of my HP, which is about 30 HP. So yeah, technically for one inventory slot, I get more out of it than like something like an angler, which heals at 22. I have to be kind of smart with it, but I get more out of it. So I'm going to bring these to raids. I'll bring one because like whenever things hit the fan, like a meter down or something, I can just pop this on when I'm low HP and just get an instant third HP back. You know, this might be the difference between dying and surviving that room. Nice Phoenix necklace there came in clutch, got that extra heal. Holy shit, this works. Oh, but it's so hard to do though. If I'm one tick behind, I can still fix it. So as I've said, I will be returning back to Winter Todd, and I think it's about time that I start doing that because I want to get that Tome of Fire for those uh, faster speed runs because the Tome of Fire unlocks the key to saving perhaps minutes of time in speed runs. So yes, I really, really want it. And of course, I can get some points off of this as well. So when I don't feel like doing some hardcore AFKing, I can come here, you know, and try to get it. I got two fat crates worth a ton of rolls. This one's the big one. I'm going to save that. Let's do this one first. Actually, I don't even know which one it is anymore. Open. <gasps> oh my god, dude. I was going to do this throughout the weeks, boys. Throughout the weeks. But we just got... Uh, outside of the Twisted Bow, to be honest with you, the most powerful thing out there that can help me chop down my my race times. So the Tome of Fire is, is, is disgusting. I can use this in terms of when it's charged for speed running because these pages, they're, they're hard to come by, all right? Each page is only 20 shots worth of fire spells. So I can't spam these pages you know, whenever I want. So I got to be careful. Take off all my stuff. I wear this by itself. As you can see, eight magic bonus. That's really nice. You know what I mean? Any magic bonus I will take. So I can just use this for raids without the pages normally. No problem. For that eight accuracy, amazing. All right, so I just realized something really cool. So I can just put all the pages in the Tome of Fire and there won't be an issue. 2,820 charges. You know why? The charges only gets used up if I use a fire combat spell, right? So if I don't want to go for a speed run and I don't want to use the charges, I can just still use my Slayer Staff with the Tome of Fire. Um, the Tome of Fire will just give me uh, the 8 magic bonus accuracy. That's it. And it won't use up a charge. Alright, we just found our first uh, layout to do our first speed run with the Tome of Fire. God, I have no food! <laughs> damn it, dude. This layout, I'm fucked. I have no food now. Except one brew. God damn it. So, yeah, man. Let's see if I can beat my time, even though my downtime is two minutes slower than than the, the one I set before, so. 33? Holy shit. All right, we did our first uh, attempted speed run with the Tone of Fire. Unfortunately, uh... This layout was a bit too rough. I had like no food going to Ulm, so I couldn't really tank hits. But yeah, this Ulm regardless was the fastest Ulm we've ever done. Even though, you know, I couldn't tank hits. 26.46... Actually, was it? 11.25. Uh, 15.21 Ulm. Yeah, damn, that's insane. So if I have more food, I could probably go 13 minutes or something. Alright, we're gonna go for a second one. This one's a lot uh, safer. Because I get food, you know, four brews from two of the rooms. So that means I can actually go for an aggressive ohm, most likely. So we'll see how fast we can do the tongue with an aggressive ohm. Alright, hopefully the phoenix necklace will help me tank it. Shoot proc, yep. Alright, so we're gonna go to ohm in about 10.30. 
and with way more supplies and way more everything honestly so so this will be a much better home um, we can try to be very aggressive with it nice that was a good redemption Bruh. stop Yeah, this is guaranteed PB. Not a bad PB as well. Nice. Look at that. 2440. So I beat my time by about 30 seconds. Nice. That's good. Now I want to see what uh, the ohm time is because this time I was able to be very aggressive. Uh, I went into ohm in 1037. And I finished ohm in 2441. So that was a 14 minute ohm. Damn, dude. Holy shit. I easily PB my best ohm time by a, by a solid minute. Okay. Keep in mind, I've only done two ohms with a total of fire, and I'm already seeing insane results. So my typical ohm in a speedrun, I think, is around 16 minutes. So this was two minutes faster than the Slayer Dart. So I'm assuming maybe with some even crazier RNG, I could save more time you know maybe three minutes it's it's possible it's possible i felt like i didn't even hit peak rng on that fight with the tome so okay one last good uh factoid here so i started with 20 100 charges two raids i ended up using about 300 charges so it was about 150 charges a raid so at this raid i got myself somewhere around like 15 speed runs with me so yeah, I'm gonna save these now for the lands. I just wanted to have some fun with the Tone Fire right away. You know, test its limits. And yeah, really solid, really solid stuff. Alright, back to good old fashioned regular raids. Except I got my new. My new Tome of Fire though, so. So with my Tome of Fire, this is my accuracy setup now. 82 magic, dude. Sick. More accurate? About 10% more accurate than I was before.